In this small corner of the world, the creatures continue their day-to-day -day lives, unaware that a new power is about to rise in the undergrowth. Hey everyone, it's Lingzi, and welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth. Thanks to our uh, wonderful, wonderfully voiced <laughs> guy over here. Um, oh goodness, I can't even... I wonder if that's a developer or if that's like an actual voice actor. Not that a developer couldn't be the voice actor or anything, but you know what I mean. So, oh goodness. Um, this is the free play version, by the way. And it has been quite a while since we have played Empires of the Undergrowth. Now, this is our little nest. Our colony is called the Lynxes, and they are a colony of black ants. Right now, these are our worker ants, so they don't really have much food, obviously, and there's not many of them. So we are going to try and branch out. I don't want to go out, I think. I believe we are at the beach currently, so we want to be very careful. Now, I did make it so that way... Um, Nothing can invade our colony currently, because uh, I'm terrible at the game. <laughs> and oh, there's something over here, so maybe we can just lead ourselves this way. And we will have to always make sure that our tunnels are a little bit, um, a little kooky, so that way nothing does come in and like kill our, <laughs> our queen. Uh, doesn't look like anything will be able to at the moment, but you know, just in case, just in case. So there they go. They're all over here. We are going to tell them to... Oh, there we go. I'm going to tell them to come over here, attack these guys. I don't remember what these are called. Um, but they are not dangerous to our ants at all. And our ants, since they are worker ants, don't really do much damage. Um, but they're, they're working on it. They're working on it. So I think this would be a nice place for a nest, though. Kind of just looking at it, staring at it, you know, it's it's a good place for either worker ants or the, uh, our tougher, tougher ants, I don't remember what they're called. <laughs> for now I'm going to call them tougher ants. <laughs> but I actually really wanted to play this game again, just because I've been watching a lot of, uh, ant colony, I guess, YouTubers? <laughs> if that's, I guess, a good term for them. Um, but that's honestly the whole idea of ants and like what they do and everything else like that is really really interesting. I think one YouTuber that I watch a whole lot of is Ants Canada, and you know he kind of he kind of shows you like his formicarium, which is where the ants are normally kept at, I believe. Um, what happens whenever it's like he's got a whole like different breeds of ants. Uh, so he's got like fire ants that go and attack <laughs> like, like tarantulas and things like that. Um, there's Ant Hill Art, I believe, who kind of shows you what the inside of the ant colony might look like by um, like putting in molten, molten aluminum or something like that just to kind of show you. So it's really interesting. It's honestly a very, very, very interesting um, thing to do. I can't remember what these guys are called, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> as long as our ants hopefully uh, get rid of all of this. Now, there isn't much yet. My goodness, they're so slow. You guys are very, very slow. All right. Once... Is starving. There's not enough food to feed them. I know, I know. They're starving. Okay, we're going to tell them to stop attacking. And maybe they'll go and instead just pick up the food. Yeah? Yeah, one of them is on it. They're like, huh, alright, well, we'll stop, I guess. <laughs> so that way we can go and get some more ants. So it looks like we have seven of those now. Wonderful. So I can tell them to go back to attacking, at least. And we can get rid of these guys a little bit quicker now, because we have seven of them. Now, we do only have space for so much food, though, so we need to go out and get more. Over here is some dangerous stuff, which I'm a little scared about. I don't really... I'm, I'm scared it's going to be like the, um... What are they called? Devil... Devil horn? Uh... They kind of look like scorpions, but they're not scorpions. I believe. Pretty sure they're not. <laughs> but... It, I, it remains the same. I'm very scared for our little ant friends. So there they go, getting the food. I think I'm going to make a tiny food store around here as well. Maybe just around in this spot. Um, that might be a little too uh, close to our queen, though. So maybe we should make it a little bit bigger over here, over this way. 
Yeah, there they go. Look at them. Look at them working. Oh my goodness. Ants are so unbe like unbelievably cool. Which I suppose you won't always hear that, but ants are really, really interesting creatures. And this game proves a lot of that, honestly. <laughs> now, like I said, nothing will invade our nest because I have seen uh, what that can what can happen here. But it is possible that creatures will invade the nest, such as spiders, um, uh, hermit crabs, which you would think maybe aren't very scary for like an ant. I don't know. So they're bringing all of the food over here, looks like, and our colony is like, uh, it's called the Lynxes, and I don't remember if I told you that they are indeed a colony of black ants. So that's really interesting. This menu and its features will be introduced with a later update. Ooh, I wonder what this is for. Alright, so it looks like we're all good here. Let's go and get ourselves a couple of, uh, we'll get two of these. So we can go ahead and get some ants that will do some fighting for us. And I suppose we will go out and see what is outside. I'm a little scared, not going to lie. In fact, I'm gonna probably bring them over this way and we can like pop a little spot over here. And we shouldn't be too scared, there's no nest invasions anyway, but I remain very doubtful. <laughs> But maybe there will be. Oh, let me go ahead and tell them to stop that so that way they can go out and work. Alright, look at this little fella. Look at him. Now, I'm not sure if ants have sexes, which is what I was curious about. Um, speed up tile? Oh, they don't need to do that. Um, but we have the queen ant, which is obviously a female since it's a queen. But I don't know if there are other sexes for ants, if that makes sense. Like, if there are actually male ants, or if they're all female, or if they're just, they can go as a gender neutral thing. I'm not sure. Very interesting, though. Alright, looks like they're all working to go outside. There they go. Alright. So our... <laughs> Alright, the world is open to us now. We live right here. This is our little nest. Um, does it look like anything too dangerous out is out here, currently? Um... Looks like there might be like a spider or something over there. I'm not sure exactly. It doesn't look too scary, but I'm very scared that it might be a spider. So I'm trying to find some food around here, maybe for our fellas. Nothing to note, though. This kind of actually reminds me of, like, Pikmin. <laughs> I think I wanted to play Pikmin for you guys at least once, uh, because I actually really love that game, but it does very much remind me of it. Hmm. Alright, we'll put this as our number two, so that way there's nobody in the colony currently. And we will bring our fellas all the way down. There they go. There they go. Now, I don't know what's in here. Ooh, a fish. So we are on the beach, and there is something. I don't know. But there's another ant colony, it looks like, just down this way. Oh, oh, and we've got some ladybugs. Now, I don't remember. Ladybugs normally eat aphids. I don't remember them ever eating ants, but... You know, they. I would not be surprised if they did. So it looks like they're all collecting the little food that they can from the, what I'm guessing are seeds from this poppy, it looks like. Kind of looks like a poppy to me. Hmm. Well, there we go. <laughs> and back down they go to go deliver the food. A lot of our, uh stronger ants are just kind of chilling out right now. I don't really want to do anything with them specifically yet. Till we get a little bit more food around here. We'll put one more brood of those. And I think there isn't any other food above right now. So we'll do that. I really wish I could split these guys up, <laughs> but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to, so I'll tell them to come back down here. To go work on everything. Um, let's go above though and let's see what that is. Let's see what this is. What this is. It's like almost dead already. So, you know, we can go check. You know, we can go check and see what it is. Plus, we don't want anything dangerous around our uh, nest anyway. So, there they go. There's one little fella just. <laughs> he's just going up by himself, like, sure. Now, I'm not not sure what it is. Oh my goodness, it is a spider. <gasps> no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so it is a spider. He really did just come in and take our food like that. Wow. Okay. That's actually terrifying. I thought it would, you know, show that he was maybe scarier than this. It doesn't. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so terrible. Uh. Alright, well, it looks like this guy was able to go ahead and get some food. One of our little fella is coming back out. I'm so sorry, friend. I've gone and killed you. Oh, I think that's actually our... Oh, no, there they are. So it's there's the two of them. The lot of them, which is two. <laughs> and it looks like it is becoming uh, night soon, so that's a little bit scary. The nighttime can be a very, very, very bad time for our poor little ants here. Now, it looks like they're just gonna feed off of the maggots and everything, trying not to go ahead and disturb this spider. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a spider. It's got webs. I don't know what kind of spider, though. See, we need to continue uh, doing the uh, the other thing, the trials and everything, but, you know, we can at least get a good idea. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. Wow, what kind of bug is that? It doesn't even eat it. He just came in to kill it. What? <laughs> I'm just really interested as to what animals are here and around. So a lot of these little millipedes and everything, and now I did change the difficulty, so it's not that hard of a game. Um, I did this for myself for now because I've it's been a while, but we will uh, up the difficulty as time goes on. So no worries if you're like kind of bummed out about that. Don't worry. <laughs> So it looks like our, our three guys, you know what, to end off this episode, let's see if they can actually do it. Let's see if they can take on the spider. So there they go. Okay, one of them got taken. Oh, oh there he goes. He took it. All right, nice. He ate him. The other, <laughs> our other little red friend really did just kind of leave him behind and we're like, nah, <laughs> that's not me, friend. <laughs> I'm not going to join you on that. Well, that's a bit upsetting, but you know what? We've got the food at least so we can go back down we don't have that many food stores at the uh, moment so we need to go ahead and fix that up um hmm i don't remember if these little red fellas can actually work on stuff i'm gonna see if they can they don't seem too into it they just kind of are working at the moment he's just kind of crawling around he's not sure what to do with himself right now <laughs> Will he do it? Will he go and work? No, he's just chilling out. He's he's not about that life right now. Okay, so then we'll, we'll tell the other guys to come back down here. Hopefully nothing is evil and trying to eat us at the moment. <laughs> I think it might have come back. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like another spider is here, so it looks like it respawned now. That sucks. That is terrible. We might have lost a couple of guys. No, actually we didn't. Wow, that's rather interesting. Okay, so let's make this food store a little bit bigger for us. There we go. Good job, guys. We're going to need it. And since food only co like it only costs about five food, we can still uh, bring in about two other little uh, fighter ants. <laughs> until I remember the name of them, at least. So that way we can feed our, uh, our little guys here. So once that's doing that, um, let's see, if I can do this, maybe they'll do it by themselves autonomously. Not sure though. It looks like they're just kind of unsure of what to do with themselves. Oh no, some of them will come out here. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right. And I think we're going to build the worker ant nest, I guess like right here. So it'll be a little bit further out for them, but I think it is for the best. So we will tell them to basically break open this entire area for some more worker ants. Oh, that looks like an ant. I didn't even notice. You see that? That's cute. Okay. I don't know if that's intentional or if that was just something we found out by ourselves. But it takes about 20 to go ahead and get this. So let's open that up. Tell them hello. Welcome to the world. Have some food. <laughs> It's only a couple of guys though, so we can put them in our number three slot. And I suppose we can figure out what else to do with those later on. 
And we definitely don't want a nest over here. A, a normal nan uh, ant's nest is pretty weird looking, I would say. There's so many little halls and things, um, <laughs> like hallways and things like that. So honestly, go check out some of the uh, ant YouTubers I mentioned. Because I swear to you, it's actually very interesting to go learn about it. Ooh, that's very scary. I don't remember what bug that is, but I guess we'll go find out later. So, all right, guys, I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.